Next game. Mavericks, Spurs, 8 o'clock San Antonio. The Mavs are laying 3.5, total 227. San Antonio's plus $1.30 on the money line. The Spurs, top 10 in scoring, top 10 in offensive field goal percentage, 6-4 and four straight up in their last 10 head-to-head -head matchups with Dallas. The Spurs are averaging 113 points per contest. DeMar DeRozan, 22 points a game, 6 rebounds, 6 assists. Patty Mills, 12 points a game, 2 rebounds, 2 assists for him. Aldridge and Walker are listed as questionable for San Antonio. Now, Dallas on the other side, they failed to cover the number in three out of their last four. They currently rank 17th in defensive rebounding. Kid Grillchrist, Coley Stein, Curry, they are all out for tonight's action. Finney Smith and Doncic, they are questionable. This Dallas team, they failed to cover the number against the likes of New Orleans, Chicago, and Atlanta within their last 10. Now, two out of Dallas's last three did get over the number. San Antonio, five and two to the over in their last seven. I'm going to lean Spurs plus three and a half in the over 227 in that matchup. Next game, Minnesota taking on Houston, eight o'clock Eastern tip-off. The Rockets are laying 12 and a half at home, total 244 and a hook. Money's on Minnesota and the over in this one. Houston open 13, down to minus 12 and a half, total open 244 up to 244 and a hook. Right now, Minnesota's plus 630 on the money line. If you like the T-Wolves in this matchup here, I know they've been terrible, uh, but they have won two out of their last four games. And as bad as they've been, they're actually 16 and 15 against the spread when they travel. They rank the top 10 in scoring on average per game. They're averaging 116 points per contest on the road as well. Now, Houston on the other side, Gordon and McLemore, they are questionable. Uh, Houston on a four-game skid right now. And just 1-6 against the spread in their last seven. The Rockets rank in the bottom 10 in offensive field goal percentage. Bottom three in defensive rebounding. They're giving up 114 points per contest. Houston, 4-3 and three to the over in their last seven. Minnesota, 20-11 and 11 to the over when they travel. I'm going to lean toward the road dog in this one. Give me Minnesota plus 12.5. And, and the over, 244 and a hook in that contest. Next game, Suns, Blazers, 10 o'clock Portland. The Trailblazers are laying four and a half at home, total at 233. The Suns are plus $1.65. Oubre still out, eight is questionable. Phoenix dropped four out of their last six games. They've also been victorious in just 13 out of their last 29 road games. They rank at the bottom 10 in offensive rebounding, bottom 10 in points allowed. Phoenix is currently in 13th place in the West. 12 games under 500, six games back of Memphis for that eighth seed. And one more thing to add about Phoenix, they rank in the bottom 10 in shooting the three ball on the road. Portland on the other side, eight and two straight up in their last 10 head-to-head -head matchups with the Suns. They rank in the top 10 in scoring, top 10 in shooting the three ball. Damian Lillard, 29 points a game, four rebounds, eight assists. C.J. McCollum, uh, 23 points a game, four rebounds, four assists for him. And Hassan Whiteside, 16 points 14 rebounds for the Blazers. The Blazers are ranking in the top 10 in defensive field goal percentage. Top three in shooting the three ball at home. They are 4-1 and one to the over in their last five. 19-12 and 12 to the over on their home court. I'm going to lean Blazers minus 4.5 in the over 233. Next game, Nets. Lakers, 10-30 Los Angeles. The Lakers are laying 11.5 at the Staples Center. Total at 223 and a hook. We are seeing money on the Lakers and the over in this one. LA open 11, up to minus 11 and a half. Total open 223, up to 223 and a hook. 63% are leaning Lakers, 68% shaded toward the over. And right now, Brooklyn is plus $5 on the money line. Now, if you like the Nets on the road here, they have won just four out of their last 10. They rank at the bottom 10 in offensive field goal percentage, bottom 10 in defensive rebounding. Temple's out. For tonight's action, Brooklyn just 11-20 straight up away from home. Bottom three in offensive field goal percentage on the road. They're also ranking in the bottom three in defensive rebounding on the road. They suffered losses to the likes of Atlanta, Washington, and Orlando within their last 10 games. Meanwhile, the Lakers on the other side right in the middle of a four-game winning streak. 11-1 straight up in their last 12. The Lakers rank in the top 10 in scoring on average per game. Top three in offensive field goal percentage. They currently have the best record in the West at 49-13 and 13 overall, six and a half games ahead of the Clippers in the Western Conference. 
They are 23 and 7 straight up at home, 18 and 12 against the spread in those games. Now keep in mind, LeBron James, he is listed as questionable with a groin. So uh, chances are we may not see him tonight. But regardless, Anthony Davis, 27 a game, 9 rebounds, 2 steals, 3 blocks. Kyle Kuzma, 13 points game, 5 rebounds for him. The Lakers rank in the top 10 in offensive rebounding, top 3 in points allowed. 5 out of the Lakers' last 7 did stay under the total. Meanwhile, 2 out of Brooklyn's last 3 stayed under the number themselves. I'm going to lean Lakers, minus 11.5. And the under 223 and a half in that matchup. Next and final game for the show, it is going to be Clippers, Warriors, 1030 Golden State. The Clippers are laying 10 and a half on the road, total 227 and a hook. We did see a little bit of money on Golden State in the early wagering. The Clippers open 11 down to minus 10 and a half, totals 227 and a hook. Golden, uh, Golden State, very bad at home this year, just 8 and 25 straight up uh, at home. 14-19 and 19 against the spread in those home games. They currently possess the worst record in the NBA at just 15-49 and 49 overall for the year. Steph Curry's questionable. Draymond Green is out. Golden State bottom five in scoring, bottom five in home points allowed. Clippers on the other side, winners of six out of their last seven. They rank the top five in scoring on average per game, second place in the West, 23 games over 500. They rank in the top three in offensive rebounding, top three in defensive field goal percentage. Kawhi Leonard, uh, 27 points a game, seven rebounds, five assists, two steals. Paul George, 21 a game, six rebounds, four assists for him. And Montrez Harrell, 19 points a game, seven rebounds for this Clippers squad. LA ranks in the top 10 in road scoring, top 10 in road offensive rebounding. They're also 3-0 and to the under in their last three. 70% to the under in their last 10. Golden State on the other side, 60% to the under in their last 10 themselves. I'm going to lean Golden, um, I'm not lean Golden State, I'm fading them. I'm going to lean LA Clippers, minus 10 and a half, and the under 227 and a half in that contest. All right, let's go ahead and dive into some shout outs. Once again, brought to you by patreon.com slash Brock Page, where we went 3-1 yesterday in our premium sports picks on that website. Shout out to Michael Lighty Jr., Guardian Angel, Blaine Lyons, Oregon 245, Ayana. Shout out to Straight to the Point, Gerald Miner, Eric Catherine, Eric Johansson, Stephen Lewis, Pittsburgh Gentleman PA, The Known One, Ochoa. Uh, shout out to Shivko, Damian Fernandez, FC Barcelona Highlights. Shout out to Vernon Williard, Seth Curry. Uh, Seth Curry. Wow. Shout out to Seth Curry. Uh, hopefully Seth, that, um, you can get well, and, uh, I know you're battling some injuries, so, uh, shout out to booty lovers, shout out to booty lovers, uh, shout out to Rob Fella, Virgil Scardino, and last but certainly not least, gotta give a shout out to Ethan Haynes. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me. Don't forget to check me out on Patreon, but most importantly, guys, I gotta thank you for joining me right here on YouTube. I really hope you enjoyed all this great free content, all this great free information, Happy Tuesday to you, best of luck to you, and I look forward to seeing you later on today on my website at patreon.com slash brockpage.